you the human man who runs the shop? Human. I. Cora. Like you. I like that human man. Yeah. He's small. And has the face of a kirab. Cora. Like kirabs. Also human. Seem to possess heart magic. Yes. Heart magic. The shop is yours, yes, and the shop is filled with plants of all kinds, so human must possess some kind of heart magic. No magic? Experience and passion? Hmm. Gora does not understand. Help me? No, no. Gora does not need Help. Gora came because me being seen people and creatures come in and out of the shop, often holding big thing of flowers. Gora then saw human step out of the shop one time and kept staring at human, so me came to speak with human herself. Gora also liked the flowers. Yes, the flowers. Flowers are very pretty and colorful. Gora is interested in them. Azur. Yes, he would like that a lot. Uh, who is that? Your name. So that is a human's name. Um... Human's name sounds, um, difficult. N nickname? Humi? So human wants me to call them Humi instead of human? Yes, Cora will call human Humin from now on. Mm -hmm. All kinds of plants. Dragon spread? As in Humi harnessed the power of a dragon? Oh, that's the plant's name. It seems very red. But Gora does not see any scales on it. Yes, scales. Scales like these. Yes, a dragon. Scale that me got out of a dragon out of slaying it. Yes, Gora carved it into a heart shape. Does Yumi like it? Yumi can have it. Yes, take it. Me carve it just for you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Plants do not grow scales? But the plant is called the dragon's bread. Hmm. So what Yumi is saying is, dragon's bread and dragons are not the same. Because dragons have scales, while the plants does not. Gora somewhat understands now. Mm -hmm. So then, why is it called dragon's bread? A flame. Oh, yes. The plant does look like a flame. Hmm. Like this, right? Oh, yes. Gura sees resemblance now. Yumi? What is wrong? Yumi appears startled by something. Yumi wants Gura to put out fire? The plant or the actual fire? Okay, Gura will put flame out now. <laughs> Better? Hmm, what are those? Hindragia? 
Hydra, Hydra, like the dragon with many heads? Oh, so this plant is also not a dragon, and also does not grow scales? Yes. Interesting. Question, does the plant have multiple heads? Well, Gora has fought many hydras before. Some look like dragons, while others looked more like weird fusions of other animals. Chimeras. Me think that this is the term. What are those over there? Snap dragons. And there's also not a dragon. And do not grow scales. Resembles a dragon's face? Huh. So, like my shoulder guard then. Mm hmm. Thank you. It is made out of the head of a dragon I slayed a while back. Wait. Does human want a shoulder guard like mine? Are you sure? Okay, then. Yumi, what is this strange-looking plant? It appears very... spiky. Cactus. Mm, yes, Gora has seen cactus... Ca cacti... Well, Gora has seen them before, but they're usually bigger, like, bigger than me. Yumi, this one has a flower on it. Can it do that? Yes, very pretty. Oh, like me? I do not understand. Mm. So what Yumi is saying is, me and the cactus are both barbed and intimidating on surface, but are actually gentle and pretty? Yes, it makes sense to go around. Yumi, I have a question. Do you think Gura is gentle and pretty? Yes, Gura is known to be scary. Many are scared of Gura, especially since Gura has the strength to, car to, to crush the enemy's head, like a watermelon. No, watermelon. Gora crushes them all the time. It? You mean it? Okay. Um, hear me, why, why are there so many watermelons here? Grow them. Watermelons have seeds? Gora didn't know this. Whoa, that's a lot of seeds. Mm. It's very juicy. Yes, it is good. Yumi, look over there. What's wrong with that watermelon? It's white and kind of small. Is it poisonous? Honey dew? What? Is it made of honey? Bees? Oh, Yumi, get behind me. Mm. There is a winged demon creature in your shop, right there. Do you see it? Shush, if we stay still, you shouldn't be able to notice our presence. Fool beast, how it is that you are gifted with the power of flight. Well, it doesn't make any sense to go uh, Not now, Yumi, that thing is still here. Stay back, fiend. Will not allow you to bring harm to this frable yet elegant man. Don't worry, Yumi. Gora will protect you. Yes? Yes, you're right. 
that is a bee, and I bet that that bee is planning to hurt you. I can't allow that. Huh? How can Hume be sure that the bee will not hurt us? But be careful, Hume. Okay, that bee could. Huh? Hume? Why is the bee not trying to attack you? <sighs> is Hume somehow the king of the wilderness? Bees are friends. Weird. That is weird. Well, whenever Gura sees a bee, there's like a giant storm cloud filled with them. And they stink, Gora. They stink a lot. We usually have to run away at that point. Nest? Well, Gura thinks that perhaps me accidentally hit a nest or something, but me is still confused. How come Yumi is allowing the bee to roam around the shop freely? Bees help the plants? Huh. So, bees help plants make more plants? Oh, so like, how has ogres help make more ogres? Mm. Now Gora wonders if human men can help produce more of us. Eh? You me? Is there something wrong? Your face is getting red. Um, are you sure? Did Yumi get stung? So, no stings? Mm. Okay, if Yumi says so. Yumi, I have a question. Do you like what you do? I see. Well, me asked because Yumi is so small and gentle while Gora is big and strong. Yumi has such masculine yet delicate hands of creativity, while Gora's hands are robust and destructive. Hmm, perhaps me starting to understand. Yeah, understand why a lot of people fear me. The big and scary orc who is well known for destroying things and battle. Me can do what Yumi does. Me fear something will fall apart from a single touch. Hmm? Yumi, what are you doing? Oh, handing me a flower. But why? Help me feel better. Yes, it is beautiful. Thank you. You want me to smell it? Mm. <laughs> Smells nice. Keep it. Um, well, very well. Then Gora will treasure this gift from you, honey, in return. <coughs> in return, Gora will gift you with this. Yes, this is a battle axe. One for two with the finest of steel, and it also comes with many runes and symbols marked into the weapon itself. This axe has seen many battles and perhaps in your care many more to come, so consider this as my personal gift. You know, as a thanks for the flower and lifting Gora's spirit. Oh. Yumi, are you okay? Um, you're welcome, Yumi. And if that is not enough, Gora can also gift you with an armor set. Or maybe I can try something on. Well, you know, this is common knowledge from the orc community, and it, it is quite widely used. So if you don't mind, I will. If you accept this other gift from me, will you? <laughs>